You guys may have seen, if you're watching, you may have seen something blow up on Twitter this week that was something along the lines of NASA discovers a universe where time runs backwards. Have you have you seen this? I didn't see this, no. <laughs> I've been reading this all over, honestly, everywhere. It's just been like it's it's been in every publication, pretty much. That's just exposed yeah. me. So <laughs> I don't read anything. <laughs> the basics of this are, is right. So researchers in, in Antarctica were doing a, a an experiment called the Antarctic Impulse Transient um, Impulsive, something like that, transient antenna, which is called Anita, very cute. Um, and basically, they sent it up into the sky, and it didn't really do anything. They just got a bunch of noise. And then they sent it up another time a year later, and it didn't really do anything. It just got a bunch of noise. And then they sent it up a third time, and whilst it was up there, they decided to look at the noise they'd, just, they'd been detecting in the first two expeditions and went, oh, wait, this actually maybe means something. And they realized that they're trying to discover these things called neutrinos, which are strange particles that don't seem to really interact with matter very much that come from space. Um, and like up to, I think, 100 trillion of them go through you every second, to, like according to science. Weird. Fair enough. Um, and they usually come from space to the Earth. And they don't generally get to the other side of the Earth, even though they don't interact with matter very much. They eventually get absorbed by the Earth on their way through the Earth. And then when they were doing this experiment, Anita, they discovered that there was a load of neutrinos that seemed to be coming from inside the earth or from in or from the ice or from the ground and shooting up into space and they their description and explanation for this was like well maybe we're discovering a parallel universe in which time runs backwards crucially <laughs> the people who were doing this experiment did not draw that conclusion some different physicists drew that conclusion right. and it resulted in this new scientist article new scientists friends of the podcast um where they had the headline what was the exact headline it scientists was. may have discovered a universe in which a parallel universe in which time runs backwards isabel says yes. i hope there's a parallel universe that is so, that, that's the new scientist article right yes that yeah. well the actual article was we may have spotted a parallel universe going backwards in time uh, um, now according to the independent this data does not show a parallel universe it just shows that we've detected something that doesn't fit the standard model of physics um, which is a very different thing. <laughs> um, Peter Gorman, professor of physics at the University of Hawaii, said it has nothing to do with parallel universe theory, and scientists collecting the data, as I said a minute ago, are not the same scientists interpreting that as a parallel universe. However, none of the information we have all rules out the possibility of a parallel universe either. It just doesn't prove the existence of a parallel universe so it depends how like i as i said to cory in the uh, when we were planning this when he was asking about what stories we were going to cover i said my favorite thing is covering scientific <laughs> stories which um don't really have much evidence to back them up but i like them and so that's why i picked this story now cory can you tell us anything about this that i've missed um i can go into a little bit more about what a neutrino is uh, so yes um you said a neutrino is kind of a um what did you what did you say a neutrino was I said it was basically a high energy particle which doesn't interact with matter all that much. It kind of travels straight through us and there's loads of them traveling through us all the time. Yeah, so that's true. The easiest way to think of a neutrino is an electron without charge because that's basically um, that's basically what a neutrino is. Uh, and actually, this story reminded me of another very similar story from I think about 2011, 2012. You guys might remember when we discovered that we can travel faster than light. Do you guys remember uh, that? Well, we discovered that neutrinos, no, it suggested that neutrinos were traveling faster than light. Yes. Yeah. Now, so I don't think we can personally No, we travel. can. Well, I don't I know. I can, well. but I don't know about you guys. I can. Luke, I don't know. Luke can. I've seen him do it. I've seen Luke's him do a it. fast mm. runner. He's, well, I am. He's a pretty, <laughs> he's a pretty quick runner. Thank it's getting him up and going that's the issue. Once he's, <laughs> <laughs> once he's on his feet. <laughs> but yeah, no. So we, we thought we discovered. I say we thought we discovered. It was reported that we discovered faster than light travel through using neutrinos or Rather, we discovered that neutrinos could travel faster than light. But in actuality, uh, it was it, it was just kind of um, this sort of error with the with the receiver and this the, the sender because it's over such a short mm. distance. What happened was um, the error rate for the receiver was kind of within um, within the realms of breaking the speed of light. Mm -hmm. um, so this is kind of the same example of science stories just kind of being blown out of proportion and misreport it because the issue with the new scientist one is that actually new scientist sometimes most of the article is behind a paywall 
So what you see with yeah. all of the other publications <laughs> that were posting about yeah. it, they were just posting the first two paragraphs of information from yeah. the New Scientist article uh, and not wow. actually reading reading fully into it, uh, which is actually kind of dangerous, which is why we like this podcast. You know? <laughs> it's most likely just um, cosmic rays from a bright supernova, which seem to make it all the way through the Earth. And so when you see like um, neutrinos or particles coming from the ground it's probable that they've just gone from the ground on the other side of the earth through the center of the earth and come out of the other side of the earth mm. that is the that is the theory but it's much more boring um and i actually have a conspiracy theory to finish this story <laughs> I, oh it wouldn't be a luke story without the I, conspiracy theory would it well look i there is currently a a um a film by christopher nolan being promoted <laughs> called tenet in which in the trailer a large part of the story seems to hinge on the idea <laughs> that time could run backwards. Um, and I think it is not beyond the realms of probability that um, they pushed this story out. They found, they went through, uh, like they went through loads of different publications, found, you know, what is what I'd do as a filmmaker if I was making a film based loosely on science. Let's go through like, a load of... Um, scientific papers find one that, that someone seems to have missed that might back up the world theory you're basing your film on and then you sort of nudge that towards a kind of like um uh pliable um reporter who then publishes it the world starts talking about a parallel universe in which time runs backwards and then you as christopher Nolan, go well guys if that's possible i've made a whole film about how that could work i'm I one step ahead it. of you guys i do love exactly. this conspiracy theory in which christopher nolan briefs <laughs> briefs his advert like his marketing team okay guys the film is coming out it's about time running backwards so what i need you to do is find something in the past two years that talks about time going backwards and then gets all of that through just to publish it. I do. I. I don't know. It's not I, that I think. I think. I don't think like he's done it. Christopher Nolan was just like, like, I need you guys to find out that time can go backwards for this film. <laughs> and they actually Nolan, did it. Yeah, Christopher Nolan made time film. go backwards for his film, just like he made you know dreams exist for his film Inception. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I just think it's very convenient that this story Dreams comes out just as Christopher intention. Nolan's trying to promote Tenet. No, I, right? do, I do actually quite like that. That is, uh, that, it's kind of feasible. I, I do want to, um, not to steal your thunder there, Luke, but I do want to kind of cap this off with, um, with, a, with a, what's the word? A quote from Carl Sagan, uh, which is, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. So all too often, Ooh. yeah, it's very good. All too often, you'll see uh, extraordinary claims made in the science world, like uh, neutrinos can travel faster than light, and we found a, a parallel universe where time is running backwards. And if you look at the evidence, the evidence just says, we're not really sure what's going on here. And people end up jumping to conclusions. If you enjoyed that clip, head over to patreon.com forward slash SciGuys where you can find the full show. Or you can stay here and catch up on old SciGuys episodes. Or you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at SciGuysPod to find out when we're doing more live shows.